Hi, I'm Tova with Professor Pincushion, and today we have a fun project to do, which is a burlap planter. Add some sophistication to your small indoor houseplants with this easy project. You can plant directly in this burlap planter or use it for a cover for four inch pots. The next time you gift a plant, be sure to add this for an extra elegant touch. Ready to give those plants a new home? Let's go ahead and see how it's done. The nice thing about this project is you don't need a lot of supplies. You have your fabric, and I'm using burlap because it does have some stability to it and it'll stand up pretty well. You want something that the water is gonna drain through okay and also hold up to getting wet. So burlap is a really good choice. Now I'm just using leftover burlap I had for my project on the burlap table runner. So you really don't need that much. If you do go buy burlap, I would get about 3 eighths of a yard and you can get several planters from that. You also need some ribbon here. This is about five eighths of an inch in width, but you can use different widths as well. And again, you don't need that much. I would have at least three quarters of a yard for that. Some all purpose thread, our pattern, which you can download. We have pins and needles here, a sewing gauge, scissors, and then not shown here is going to be the sewing machine. The first thing you need to do is to cut out your piece out of your burlap using your pattern piece. Now this is a quarter of the size, this is so we can fit it on one single sheet of paper when you print it out. So it does need to be placed on the fold on both sides. And if you wanna make it larger, you can always scale it up so you can get a larger size planter. So with my burlap, it's already folded in half. I already have a fold right here. I'm gonna take this, fold it in half again. So I have a fold here, and then I have, I actually have two folds down here, cause here's a fold here, and then I have a fold here. Make sure these are lined up. You're going to take your pattern, place it. So we have place on fold on one side of the fold and then the place on fold over here on the other side and you're gonna pin it and you're gonna cut it out. So when you cut it out, you end up with a full piece that looks like this. Next, we're gonna start pairing up edges. So this edge is gonna be paired up with this edge this edge with this edge and so on. You're gonna have this right side facing up. We're gonna start in this corner here. I'm gonna take this edge, fold it over so it meets with this other edge and then I'm gonna go ahead and pin it. And you can do these all at the same time. So now we have this edge with this edge and you're gonna do the same thing. Just fold it over and you're going to pin and you're gonna do this for all four edges. When you pin all four edges, you should end up with a little box like this. And then we're gonna take it to our machine and when I sew my seams on each side, I like starting from the top and sewing down towards the bottom. For each of the four sides, you're gonna to wanna to sew a half inch seam allowance. Don't forget to back stitch on both ends. And I'm just gonna to sew to the bottom and let my threads just kind of run off. So you can see I'm getting down to the bottom of my box. I'm gonna do a couple back stitches and then just let it go off. Trim all four seam allowances, leaving about a quarter of an inch past the stitches. Flip your planter right side out. We're now going to be pinning our ribbon along the top. Now the ribbon should be pinned about a half inch from the top. So about right there, I'm gonna use my sewing gauge to measure it. Now when I'm just starting off, it doesn't matter where you start, you're gonna take the ribbon, you're gonna fold it just a little bit, maybe about a quarter of an inch. So you're folding it towards you and you're pinning it. So the flat side of the ribbon is going to the right side of your box, again, a half inch down. Let me grab some pins so I can start pinning it. So when you're looking at, you're seeing the folded edge towards you. And then I'm just gonna go around the whole thing and pin it all along this top portion, a half inch from the bottom. When I get all the way around, you can go ahead and leave this unfolded and just overlap the two and pin it into place. I'm just stitching along the top of my ribbon. You can see I'm getting pretty close to the edge. 
So I'm doing this all the way around. Now I'm just using grow grain ribbon, which is the ribbon that has the ridges in it. But if you're using ribbon that actually has a visible right and wrong side, you want the right side of the ribbon to go to the right side of the fabric because we're gonna eventually flip this ribbon to the inside of our planter and that's what's gonna finish the top. If you're wondering what I did with my seam allowance, I just kept them closed and just stitched them to one side because we're eventually gonna do a sort of a French seam on the corners here. But for now, after I stitch down the ribbon, I'm gonna trim the top of the burlap so it's about a quarter of an inch sticking up past the ribbon. Then you're gonna take the ribbon and you're going to fold it over to the inside. So when I fold it over, you're not gonna see the ribbon and it's gonna be nice and finished on the inside. It's a little bit easier to do this part if you have it inside out again. So ribbon on the inside, then fold it over like this and then pin it into place. On the inside of the planter, stitch all along the bottom of the ribbon To give our planter more shape, what we're going to do is for each corner, so all four corners, I'm going to put this on its end. You can see my seam line going up the side. I'm just going to pinch this area so the seam line is going to be right in the middle. You can go ahead and lay this flat and then you're going to stitch right along this edge, about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. So these two sides are going to be stitched together and that will help give it a more square look. For this, I'm starting from the bottom and then working my way to the top of the planter. And I know I said a quarter inch, but I actually think an eighth inch is probably better. You want to do it pretty close to the edge, yet still enclose all your seam allowances on the inside. That way it looks a little bit more finished. And it might get a little harder in the top, just get it up as high as you can. And that's it, now we have a finished planter and we can go ahead and use it to put our plants in and make them look really nice. So this one, I just slipped a pot in there. This is just a standard four inch pot. Pretty easy to put on there and it looks really nice. This one, I planted directly inside the planter. Now if you do that, because burlap kind of has an open weave, dirt can still sneak out. So what I recommend doing, using a coffee filter, stick it inside before you put any dirt and that should help and keep things a little bit neater. Now, if you make one of these planters, please take a picture and share with us. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.